you have authority authority over infirmity authority over penury and poverty authority over insanity authority over powers dominions and principalities you have authority over mediocrity conspiracy and hegemony authority over matrimonial acrimony authority over timidity you have authority authority over the enemy the enemy of your soul why because regardless of how you feel or what you hear or what you see at the hem of your affairs is the master of the sea Jesus Christ the son of the living God now I want you to personalize this reality confession until you see a manifestation say with me I have authority infirmity disability penury and poverty are not my portion I have authority over insanity I have authority over powers thrones dominion and principalities I have authority over mediocrity conspiracy and hegemony I have authority over matrimonial acrimony and this unity in the body and in my home I have authority over dysfunctionality and infamy therefore I exercise my authority over infamy over infirmity over sickness disease because Jesus took my infirmity and seen when he died on the cross on Calvary by his stripes I was healed I exercised my authority over penury and poverty because Jesus although he was rich for my sake he became poor that I through his poverty might become rich it is rich beloved I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as I so prosperous God enlightened the prosperity of his servants therefore I exercised my authority over any form of subjugation by the spirit of luck in the name of Jesus I exercise my authority over insanity because God has not given me a spirit of insanity but I of sanity and sound mind it is written I have the mind of Christ I am renewed in the spirit of my mind and whatsoever is just true of a good report is admirable honest praiseworthy I think of such things yes I exercise my authority over principalities powers dominions because Christ is armed principalities and powers and made a public spectacle of them triumphing over them even through the cross he gave me authority and dominion to reign in this life he gave me authority over the power of the enemy to trample them under my feet I am more than a conqueror through Christ and if God be for me who can be against me mediocrity is not my portion God has created me for, for excellence marvelous works that will bring honor and glory to his name so I have the ability to rise above mediocrity to rise into his excellence I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me it is God who works in me both to will and to do according to his good pleasure I shall serve him with all my mind my might and my heart I shall serve before kings before because his word says he is thy man was diligent in his business 
it shall serve before kings and not before men. Amen. Yes, I have authority and dominion. Yes, dominion lost has been regained. Therefore, I exercise this dominion over any hegemony, conspiracy, or confederacy orchestrated against me in the spirit realm. When they gather against me, God will scatter them. Their counsel will be of no effect. They will be annulled. No weapon fashioned against me shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against me in judgment I will show to be in the wrong. Yes, in the name of Jesus. When the enemy comes like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will raise a standard against him. Matrimonial acrimony is not my portion. Therefore, I come against every spirit of marital disunity and acrimony. My home shall experience the peace of God that transcends all understanding. This is my heart and my mind in Christ Jesus. Harmony and symphony shall prevail in my home. We shall maintain the unity of the Spirit and the bond of peace in my home and in my church. We shall dwell together in unity and see God command His blessing on our home, on our church, in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of timidity it is allowed in my life. And in my home, and in my church, God has not given me a spirit of timidity, but out of love, power, sound mind, boldness, such in the name of Jesus. Yes. I do away with every form of fear, because God's word says, perfect love casts away all fear. It is the wicked who flee when no one pursues. Righteous are as bold as a lion. God says, Fear not. Let be you this may, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. He says, Fear not. When you go through the waters, it will not overflow you. When you go through the rivers, yes, you will not drown. He said, When you go through the fire, the flame will not kindle upon you. So fear not, I am your shield and your bond and compensation. Therefore, I refuse to fear. God is my light and my salvation, of whom shall I fear? God is the stronghold of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? When my enemies and my foes come to eat of my flesh, yet in, in this shall I be confident. Those who have come against me will flee in seven ways. Health and skeleton will not help them. In the name of Jesus, God will lift up my head above my enemies. He will plant my feet on this rock to stay. In the name of Jesus, God has called me to a life of grace and superabundance. Not, a li not to a life of disgrace. Therefore, infamy is not my portion, but a life that will give glory and honor to my Maker. Yes, a city on a hill, that's me. A light of the world, that's me. A soul in the earth, that's me, according to the word of God. I exercise my authority over the enemy who has come to steal, kill, and destroy. Because my life is hidden in Christ, and God is on my side. Jesus came to give me life, and life in his fullness. Great I see that is in me, and he that is in this world. Whoever is born of God will come this world, and this is the victory that comes this world, even my faith.